Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or on the internet. In this episode of Sunday Reflection segment, we present the homily for the 15th Sunday of the year based on the liturgical readings of the A cycle. The readings of the 15th Sunday of the year dwell on the theme Patient optimism in Christian living. The mozo is a bamboo plant that grows mostly in China and the Far East. Mozo bamboo is the largest of the cold hardy bamboos, growing to a height of 75 feet with a diameter of 8 inches. After the mozo is planted, no visible growth occurs for up to 50 days even under ideal conditions. Then, as if by magic, it suddenly begins growing to its full height of 75 feet within six weeks. The rapid growth of mozo is due to the miles of roots called rhizomes it has developed during those two months of getting ready. The readings and the liturgy of the 15th Sunday of the year invite us not to turn cynical and become depressed when we fail to achieve instant results or genuine progress in our Christian living. Instead, we are called to be patient and have an optimistic or positive view of our life situation, thereby live a transparent and honest Christian life. The first reading is taken from the book of prophet Isaiah. The prophecy is found in chapters 45 to 50 of the book of prophet Isaiah is referred to as the book of consolation as they are intended to console the dispirited exiles who would soon be returning from Babylon to Judah. Prophet Isaiah consoles and comforts the Judean exiles who are dispirited and have lost hope. He promises that Yahweh's power and mercy would bring them fertile land, restoration, water for the thirsty, and secure defense against enemies. Prophet Isaiah tells them, Just as the rain and snow which water the earth and make the seeds sprout and grow, so also God's word will accomplish its purpose and bring the exiles to their home in peace. Besides, God's word would make their religious and spiritual lives fruitful as he has done for their land. Hence the prophet asks them not to be dispirited and discouraged but be patient and optimistic. They must open themselves to the word of God and cooperate with it so that the word of God may accomplish its purpose in their lives. In the second reading, St. Paul in his letter to the Romans reminds the Christian community in Rome that suffering is part of every aspect of creation. For seeds must fall into the ground and die in order to produce fruits. Similarly, following in Jesus' footsteps, who redeemed us through his suffering and death on the cross, we also must be open to accept suffering in order to be fruitful members of Christ's mystical body. Therefore, St. Paul asks the Roman Christians to trust in God's word, wait patiently and with optimistic frame of mind for the arrival of the kingdom of God and its redemption so as to enjoy the first fruits of the Spirit in their lives, despite sufferings, hardships, and troubles they may experience in the present situation in their life. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, narrating the parable of the sower, Jesus points out that just as the sprouting growth and produce of a seed depends on the type of soil in which it falls, so also the productivity of the Word of God depends on the type of the mental condition in which a person receives it. Hence, Jesus asks us to cultivate the right mental condition of patient optimism to receive the word of God. This implies that we do not give in to impatience and pessimism, 
by being caught up in worldly concerns by drifting away from our faith in Jesus and by being addicted to evil tendencies such as hatred jealousy and greed instead we are asked to cultivate minds and hearts that are open to listen to the word of god accept it with all humility diligently live it in the context of our everyday life and patiently and optimistically wait for the word of god to produce a harvest of good works in par with our god given talents and abilities thus the parable of the sower also implies that to be fruitful in our christian living we must constantly maintain the attitude of patient optimism that would help us to keep our hearts and minds fixed on the word of god wait patiently while positively letting the word of god to bear fruit in our christian life on this 15th sunday of the year the readings and the liturgy invite us firstly to build up right relationship with the word of god as christians this implies that just like the moso bamboo plant we make every effort to listen to the word of god ponder over it wait patiently and optimistically in order to allow the word of god to take its roots within us that we continue to grow in our christian lives and bear fruits for christ and our fellow brothers and sisters by our rootedness in the word of god that we do not allow ourselves to be dispirited and discouraged in our difficulties but patiently wait for god's word to produce its fruits by positively living the spirit of god's word in our everyday christian lives secondly the liturgy today calls us to cultivate proper attitudes of mind and heart to guide our christian life this implies that we do not let ourselves be caught up in worldly concerns and do not allow ourselves to be influenced by laziness prejudice fear pride and immoral living that we do not let ourselves be overcome by our emotions so that we can rationally look at every event that happens in our lives and not drift away from the truths that we must accept and live that we do not let ourselves be addicted to evil habits and tendencies so that we do not get lost in the pleasures of life but seek the lord and his kingdom finally the liturgy today calls us to produce fruits of god's kingdom in our life as christians to be bearers of the fruits of god's kingdom in our christian lives we must let go everything that pulls us back from bearing fruit for christ such as trials and tribulations harassment from others believe that god does not care for us the feeling that we are powerless and weak and any other similar limiting beliefs that make us feel dispirited and pessimistic instead we must be optimistic and hopeful in life believe in the call of jesus the true vine to be his fruit bearing branches work patiently with our god given talents and abilities allow the word of god to direct our lives and produce fruits of justice love mercy forgiveness and hospitality thereby not only live our christian lives joyfully but also be sources of blessing in the life of those around us as we move into this new week let us ask god to give us the grace to build the right relationship with the word of god by cultivating proper attitudes of mind and heart produce fruits of god's kingdom in our christian lives thereby live as joyful christians and be vehicles of blessing in the life of those around us amen thank you for watching this video stay blessed until we see you again with another video